G987 FM, the way we groove, this is the Enforcers, and we have on the air one of the Caribbean's cultural treasures, accomplished singer, songwriter, and dynamic performer, not to mention one of Carnival 2020's Road March Kings. It is truly an honor to welcome back to the Soka Groove, Kess. Blessed, blessed. Good to be here, man. Good yeah, to be man. here. Yeah, so let's, uh, last week, Sunday, we, we sat down with Tedis and John, and uh, he spoke about opening at uh, Tuesday on the Rock. So I'm wondering if you could speak to us about your thoughts on the evolution of, of your concert. Uh, wow, you know, that's really a reflection of, of, of us, us, as, us as a team in general. I think um, the concert really, the initial dream of the concert was to just provide an all 360 experience of Kestiban and not just... Um, not just one dimension of us. We just really wanted a stage to really perform uh, all, our, all our different sides and as well to by extension, all the people that represent all of those influences, you know? Um, so to see it really grow and come to life and really find its place, I think is an amazing thing to see. Um, I think right now, you know, it's 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 what's next. It's what's the evolution of this idea. Is where where does where does it go? Um, especially with respect to now, twenty twenty, yeah. and everything. Um, it feels like it's in its uh, it's in a phase of growing again. You know, into right. into some into whatever it has to be again. You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just been amazing, you know, and it just I, I I like the fact that we constantly want to find growth you know and want yeah. to want to improve the experience want to improve our experience yeah um and that just that just shows that there's just always work to do there's always something else to do and grow into so yeah. that to me feels good i do like when it's, if something is stagnant and yeah. you know it's 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 remaining that gets me anxious right. <laughs> i want to know i want to know that we can grow right know? yes yeah um so let's let's talk about road march this year how does it feel to win your first road march it's um you know it's it's different yeah. um i would say it's something that I've, I've always um it was always a what if it never really um it never was the focus of a carnival for us it, right um the show became the focus i think above everything else yeah and um just putting out good quality music and if if you know if the people feel it they love it and they carry it as far as they they want to carry it then blessings on top of that you know yes um for us winning you know it's 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 more symbolic than anything else i think it's just uh, it feels good to be in the history books of trinidad you know in this historical year yeah. um i think i think that aspect of it you know, it's 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 kind of cool because yeah. I think 20 years ago, I think for us to say, well, hey, uh, you're gonna in 2020, you're gonna win Road March and Soka Monarch, and then <laughs> yes. we're gonna have a, and then we're gonna get a pandemic. <laughs> 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 I just feel like you know you can't plan these things. Yes. Um. So it's kind of surreal to see it, see something that has come to pass. You know? Yes. So speaking of good music, let's talk about. Uh, Dare Promoter, and I, I feel like like Savannah Grass, Dare Promoter really resonated with everybody back home this this carnival. Um, how did that song come together? Um, I have to say, I have to big up Voice and his entire team. You know, I, the the minute he sent the initial, because he had the idea, and the minute he sent the initial um, work of it, it was just like clear to me that this was a song. That song was just amazing, and it was great to work with Voice. Voice is a very, uh, he's a very clinical artist, you know? He knows <laughs> what he's about. Yes. He knows what he wants. Um, and it's easy to work with him and, and the team. Yes. And it was smooth. It was smooth in the boot. I remember we were recording it, and I just stopped in and be like, fellas, I really love this. I love this song. <laughs> I'm like, I'm having a great time, you know? Um, and you know it's it it reflected in the music it reflected in the in the way that people people receive the song um and yeah I, that's one song too yeah we would have looked forward to performing all this year yes but i think music like that is timeless and i think it's 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 we're going to be performing it no matter what you know right yes. yeah yeah so this, 
this week in Toronto would be Toronto Carnival. So I wonder if you could, you've, you're, you're no stranger to Toronto. I wonder if you could share a, a fond memory of Toronto Carnival or Caravana. Well, I mean, I would say definitely uh, Toronto was the first city like I saw yeah. touring. Wow. And it was the first city that I, you know, you, I was, so how many years ago? 20 years ago, <laughs> close to. Um, you know, it was the first time seeing a city in general and really oh. taking in a city and, and touring for soca music. So that, that first trip to Toronto was always amazing yeah. to us. You know, I remember we stayed at the Ryerson University <laughs> yes. and we stayed in the little dorms. And, and, you know, for us, it's just to be outside. It was just yeah. to, to know that someone in Canada knows your music. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And um, I think just that wide-eyed, bushy-tailed um, sort of experience was yeah. just it for me. I fell in love. I fell in love with Canada and Toronto after that. And I yeah. think I spent every year after that exploring yeah. and learning a bit more. Yeah. Um, something I still want to do. I still want to go to a cabin. I still want to, you know, <laughs> take yeah, a drive sure. here, there, and everywhere. But same speed, um, beautiful city. Um, one thing that I think is just so amazing about Toronto is the way that Caribbean people are a part of the fabric of Toronto. Yeah. And we are really, you know, I, I, you could hear the music in, in, in storefronts and, 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 and different places. And yeah. it's really a full support of, of, of Caribbean music yes. out there in Toronto. And, and um, Toronto played our music when... Trinidad wasn't really playing it even, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So I, there's always a a, a bless in my heart for Toronto, yeah. you know. Yes. So let's let's talk about new projects. What's what's in the pipeline right now? Or are you taking this time to just kind of relax, or are you are you still working on new things? You know what? I mean, we did take some time to yeah. you know a little shock shock time. Like, yeah. what <laughs> is going on? Let's, <laughs> let's do nothing. Okay. Right. Yes. Um, I really appreciated the downtime. I'll be real. I haven't stopped for 15 years. Like wow. I've been going through it. And, um, you know, you don't know how much a month rest is going to reveal. Like, for me, it's like, wow. Like, I, I've, I would have given myself 10 days, you know, yes. to rest for the <laughs> yeah. year. And think that that was enough. Right. And the reality is it wasn't. So, um, me getting the rest, I'm very grateful for. But at the same time, it gave me and gave us as a team a time to assess us and, 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 and really, uh, we really have to know how you step in in the next direction and what, is gonna, what it's going to be. So we've definitely been working on new, new material, new music. I, think, I don't yeah. think that stops. I think we've continuously been, been doing that. So what happened was, we was going <laughs> to do, we were working on an album in a non-pandemic world almost. Um, yeah. And then when it happened, you know, everybody pressed the pause in a lot of ways. And we as a band realized that we hadn't captured ourselves live. Right. You know, um, as Casty Band, you know, we're so, the songs are, you know, very producer based, artist based. And sometimes they would have live elements in it, but it's never the full scope and really capturing cast the band live on stage and we said you know what we're here we're in one place we have time let's let's put some of these songs as live interpretations uh -huh. and we went to the studio we, we, we recorded everything drums keys everything everything live the way that we would do it on stage um kind of interpreting it in in that degree and um, bringing it back to the people, you know, sort of a collector's um, album that we're going to be putting out before the, the other album, basically. Right. So it's basically two albums, but this one is, the, is, is, I would say, a prequel, but also a collector's for, for those of the, who love the band and love the entire band sound. Yes. I think it's something that um, is important for us to capture ourselves in this time. Yes. Um, and to capture soca music as live instruments. I think that... Uh, there are a lot of elements live that we still can uh, tap into that as, an, as a genre. So I want to explore that even more. Um, the name of the album is called We Home. We Home. Nice. And it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, you're going to hear more about it in August. It's going to be released. By the end of the month, it's going to be released fully. But you're okay. going to get, you're going to get tastes as the month goes on. 
excellent. Uh, so, no. Yeah, so we have some stuff that we're working on, you know? <laughs> so Toronto, look out for that. We Home is coming to you in August. Yes. Look out for that. Yes. Very huge. Yes. Very huge. We appreciate your time so much, Kes. If you could just remind our listeners how they can keep up to date with you on social media. You know, just check us out, kestheband.com, or, you know, check us out on Instagram, kestthebandofficial. And just stay tuned, uh, just all our handles, just to, you know, know what's next. August is going to be a, a big month, and we're going to be bringing some real, real cool things and nice things to you all. Keeping the fire burning. Yes. You all keep that fire burning within your heart. That's, that's what we have, you know. We have the love for it, and I think that with love, we will find a way, and we will find new ways. You know, because, you know, that's how the culture is and that's how the music is. It, it, it can push through concrete and yes. it, could, it could walk through walls. So I believe in soca music. I believe in our genre. I believe in Caribbean people. And we have the key to change the world. So let's continue in this time to remind people how to love, remind people how to feel happy, remind people how to just what, 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 is to, what it is to be human, you know, despite all this wildness that's going on. Yes. So Thank yeah, you man. so much, man.